Hey everyone, I am back with the other tag. Um, this is the nail art brushes and tools tag. Um, if I didn't say any other one, I think I may have, but if I didn't, I was tagged by May Nail Designs for both of these. And I think I think Marcy Brock had tagged me in both her videos, if not one of <laughs> one of the other. So thank you, ladies. Um, so this one is nail art brushes and tools. Um, just gotta, I guess I'm just going to show you uh, first my brushes that I use when I do my acrylic. Um, it's just this regular from Alpha. Um, I guess Alpha brushes I think it's called. It's a number 7 oval right here. I know it's not the best brush, but it works for me. So, <laughs> so I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm not really that good with um, acrylics yet, so I'm not gonna go and, you know, spend a whole bunch of money on a on a brush, just not yet. So, that's it. You know, just your typical little brush. Um, and then I also got this number four 3D nail art brush, also from Alpha. I haven't really used this one, but like maybe once or twice for like doing really detailed um, stuff. It's a pretty good uh, brush. I like it. Um, and then I'm just kind of through this uh, brush in here. I use this for like when I clean up when I'm doing my nails and stuff around my cuticles got it from the Dollar Tree when they had gotten all these uh, these ones in I grabbed like five of them and it's just a regular um, elf uh, small precision brush yeah it gets the job done you know you go around the cuticles call it a day and speaking of cuticles my god my fingers are looking rough okay uh, what's next? What's next? Um, of course I got this set of 3D, not 3D, but like, um, what the heck are they called? Like striper brushes. And there's red and there's green and blue. I can only find my red. I don't know what the heck happened to my blue. And, oh, here's my green. Here's my green one. I don't know what happened to my blue one. I think because that one was really long, it kind of got on my nerves, so. I may have just flung it somewhere. I don't remember. Um, then, for the last of my brushes, since I don't really, I don't really use, like, the fan brushes or anything like that. Um, I've shown these before in a haul that I did. These, um, short liner brushes that I got when I went to, um, AC Moore. It's just your typical little liner brush. It's not the best detailed brush, but it does the job. It helped me out with my Easter uh, designs that I just did. So, yeah, it does the trick. I don't even think this is the cap for this one. But anyway, yeah. So I got two of those. That's pretty much it for my brushes. And then whatever tools that I do use. Not that big of a of a selection. Just my dotting tools. And I like decorate the little carrying case it comes in. And I got that little blue one there from uh, my Rainbow Honey box a couple months ago. This one I got this uh, set. Of the four, which everyone sees on eBay, I got that a couple of years ago. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much all my tools. It's just my dotting tools. I try to use my dotting tools for like all my little, you know, little detailed stuff. I mean, gets the job done. So yeah, um, just like the other tag, since this this tag is going around a lot. I don't want to like sit here and tag people that's been tagged by other people. Um, if I can't think of anybody or if I see that you've been tagged before, I'm not going to tag you again. Um, if not, you know, if you were tagged, 
and you watch this video, then you are tagged. Anybody I can't think of, you are tagged. And so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, I'm just putting away my brushes now so I don't lose them. So, yeah. Before I start rambling again, that's what's going on with the tag. So, thank you again, ladies, for tagging me. And I hope you guys enjoy my video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.